Hello, and welcome to the Source One podcast, your on the go source for the latest insights in the procurement, supply management, and strategic sourcing industry. Today, we're talking to Source One consultant Martin Prezworski. With a background in engineering, Martin helps companies reduce production costs through global sourcing, optimizing specifications, creating flexible formulations, and integrating with suppliers. Recently, he and members of the Source One team collaborated to publish a new white paper titled Strategic Sourcing Throughout the Product Lifecycle. The white paper explores the value of engaging strategic sourcing and procurement groups at each stage of the product lifecycle. Thanks for joining us today, Martin. Thanks for having me. I want to begin with getting a little more background about what you do and uh, what prompted the concept behind the white paper. Sure. My uh, education is in science and engineering. I have about five years working in an industry as an applications engineer. Uh, before making a transition to procurement consulting and joining Source One, where I've helped clients with strategic sourcing in both the direct and indirect areas for about the past three years, I believe my experience gives me a first-hand insight into the daily pain points and bottlenecks encountered by both engineers and the pressure management really faces to stay competitive within the market. I've worked hard to bridge these gaps between engineering, management, sales, marketing, and the technical projects to dissipate kind of uh, miscommunications and misconceptions on all sides and really help everyone find common ground in order to make progress, cheap savings. Okay. You mentioned there's an opportunity for better results when strategic sourcing teams are engaged earlier in the process. Um, when is the sourcing team usually involved in the product lifecycle? Right. Strategic sourcing is usually most likely to be involved somewhat as a necessary evil during the manufacturing phase. So this would include growth and the maturity stages. Really in that product life cycle to reduce costs as production volumes are increased. So in, if you look at a classic analogy, you can kind of consider it as saving 10 cents on a capacitor. Um, so that way we can save 10,000 on the production run of 100,000 units. Um, in that way, strategic sourcing may also get involved to help reduce overall costs of an established product by partnering with a contract manufacturer and opening up the company's time for new product introduction and development work. Some companies even progress to the point of taking the burden completely off of manufacturing shoulders and recast the business as a design house. Uh, but we can achieve even greater savings by expanding on existing component opportunities to include the engineering team's insights really into critical and non-critical component selection and leveraging uh, DFM or design for manufacturing services provided by fabricators to reduce the component count and increase the production efficiencies in order to more than double original projections in most cases, which is quite an incentive for most companies. We do often see that as procurement professionals, uh, that you know, for many organizations, procurement groups are a necessary evil that they're not initially inclined to engage at all. Um, how have you approached strategic sourcing for clients? Yep, I completely agree. Unfortunately, procurement can often be viewed as an added obstacle to the sourcing process. But the reality is they're driving added value by providing a clear view of market landscape when it comes time to make a major purchasing decision, uh, especially early on where most of the decisions are made. By getting involved in and even leading key activities throughout the product life cycle, instead of simply being asked to go and buy the materials, we can facilitate the process and add value for all key stakeholders, even within their own time commitment. Uh, we bridge the gap in understanding between engineering, manufacturing, marketing, sales, and the management teams again, and speak a common language. That way, we help them to communicate faster and more efficiently. So strategic sourcing can help shorten that development time frame and really meet the cost targets to make the design of a quality product in a competitive market a repeatable reality. It absolutely makes sense that sourcing would be involved prior to the manufacturing phase when it comes to meeting cost targets, but can the sourcing team actually help during the ideation phase? Yes, definitely. Uh, during the ideation phase, the product is really conceived, and here many costs are built into the finished product before it even gets into a, a prototype phase. When establishing the market need, we really try to get a thorough understanding of the competitive landscape. Market pricing can really provide key guidance for product placement and really feasible manufacturing cost targets, as opposed to something that just makes sense on paper. The value strategic sourcing and procurement can bring, enabling manufacturers to understand the market for material, functional design considerations, evaluate the current contract manufacturing relationship, and determine the best approach to really balance costs with technical considerations. And when should suppliers be involved in the product lifecycle? 
Sure, the production phase is an ideal time to gather input from key suppliers. In this phase, the product's construction and component parts are established, typically by engineering, with little to no input from strategic sourcing and procurement. But during this phase, we should be engaged to begin supplier identification, identify opportunities to localize designs to low-cost regions, and guide the engineering teams through the off-the-shelf commercial offerings to ensure cost-competitive and sustainable initial design. By utilizing the experience and insights of manufacturers, we have already successfully addressed these challenges with similar customers and are more than willing to share their knowledge to expand business opportunities. We can take the heavy burden of getting everything right off the engineering team's shoulders and really shift it to the entire team. Absolutely, and I think that's really important to emphasize here. Strategic sourcing and procurement groups can and should be leveraged to, like you said, remove the burden from the engineering teams, really at all stages of the product life cycle. Well, Martin, thank you again so much for your time today. Great, thank you. For those of you interested in learning more about the value strategic sourcing groups and procurement groups can deliver at each stage in the product life cycle, please check out Source One's new white paper, Strategic Sourcing Throughout the Product Life Cycle, Balancing Competitive Costs with Innovation and Speed to Market. Thanks for listening.